What's up, Logix? Nitro here, and I'm coming at you with a 69 and 1 gameplay on Meltdown on Black Ops 2. Now, as you can see, obviously, I'm running the Type 25. Now, this class setup, I, I kind of use it with all my with all my guns, but I've found that this works the best. What I do is I have my gun, and then I I differ what I use for each class with the gun. This one I'm using the red dot sight and I was using fast mags then what I put on them is I do scavenger and then I do hardline but and then do the perk one wild card then I have for the second part scavenger and toughness and do perk two greed as like a wild card and for perk three I do dexterity and that's kind of it's kind of a necessity and depending on what I'm using in the class, sometimes I'll take off hardline, sometimes I'll take off, um, like, well, that would mean I take off perk one, like greed. And when I do that, I'm able to, like in this gameplay, use semtex and EMP grenades, which I'm running in this. So it really works for me. If you guys want to try it, you are obviously welcome to go and do that. And I hope that it helps you out. Anyway, so getting to the gameplay. In this game, I died at the beginning after getting, I think it was either one kill or two kills, and then I just go on an absolute tear. I get like 67 kill streak. Unfortunately, I did not go nuclear, because I got like 20 kills, 25 kills, something around that, with a gun, and then just relied all on kill streaks. I had the VTOL and the Lodestar going, and they had the forward progression leading into each other, as you obviously know when you get the high kill streaks. I mean, that's that's kind of how it works. But anyway, so this game. It was a fun game. Very, very fun gameplay to get. Um, tip for you guys, though. I wasn't really doing it too much in this game. But one tip for you, as you saw me kind of do it there. Whenever you're going to a bit of a higher traffic area, make sure you aim down your sights. You will get a much higher advantage on someone if you aim down the sights, down, like as you're turning the corner a little bit. Because by doing that, you will be... Well, to pretty much summarize it up, in this game, you die a lot faster. It takes less bullets to kill you than in uh, previous Call of Duty games. And when you play this game, if you're aiming down your sights, you're more prepared to kill the enemy than they are you. Because they're not aiming down and they're not prepared to see you. So if you aim down your sights and start shooting as soon as you see them, they still have to not only aim down their sights, but they have to get their accuracy right on you. I, as you see right here, I already have my aim on this person. So that's the only reason why I killed them. If I wasn't aiming on them, right on their attack, they would have killed me first, and that would have destroyed the whole way the gameplay was going. So it's a major, major tip for you guys to do that stuff. Next. The next tip is don't go around, and if you see someone do good on YouTube... Do not take that class that they use and try to do good with it. Because 9 out of 10 times, you will not do good with it. At all. You just, you won't. The problem that you find with doing that is you're not adjusted to whatever gun it is. You're not adjusted to the class setup. The perks. The whatever it may be. The grenades. Whatever. You are not used to it. You're used to whatever you have set up. And if you are used to those guns, and you all of a sudden start changing what you use... It is not going to help you at all. Changing to stuff you've never used before. It, it just, it will not help. It'll make everything more complicated for you. And it'll have a lot more problems. The next thing that you want to keep in mind when you're trying to get good gameplays is do not just run straight up the middle. If you've been watching me throughout this entire gameplay, I have rarely gone straight into the middle or into an open area where I could have been killed easily. Yes, there are some times that I had risky moves that could have gotten me killed. For example, when I was on that rooftop and there was a guy with a tactical insertion and he almost killed me. Stuff, stuff like that can be pretty risky. So you've got to make sure that you play it safe to some extent. However, you don't want to be that one person that camps in the back of a room for the entire game. There are two problems with doing that. The first problem with that is people are going to know where you are. So they're just going to keep coming to you, and they'll eventually get to you because they'll throw a grenade, they'll do something that'll kill you. The next thing that you have to worry about is, it's not going to happen as much, but 
if you just stay in one spot, you aren't going to get as many kills because after a while, people are going to say, hey, well, if this guy keeps killing me, he's killed me three times in a row. So you know what? I'm just not even going to go back there anymore. I'm just going to stop with that and let him come after me. That's really what people are going to go. By the way, guys, as you saw, I went 24-1 and one after just one round. Next round, I just go completely off the charts. Get, what, 45 kills? I mean, yes, mo I think just about all of them, maybe like two or three, aren't with the kill streaks. But still, though, that is impressive. 45-0 and 0 in five minutes. That's, that's insane. Anyway, though, so going back to what I was saying. Another tip for you guys is... Make sure when you call in your kill streaks, don't go to a high traffic area and call it in. Be in a safe area. Like as you saw there, I was going to call it in by the door, and then I decided. But the only problem is if there's someone that comes up there, and they shoot, they throw a grenade, anything like that, I have a higher chance of getting killed from there than I do on the other side. Because I realize that it's a spawn point right where people on my team are spawning. And if the spawns were to change sides at any point while I'm still there, they can just walk in there and kill me without any competition because I'm not going to really be paying that much attention to it and I'm going to be cautious to shoot something over there. So, last tip for you guys. Make sure that you have the right kill streak rewards on. Well, I guess score streak since, you know, Black Ops 2, um, what was it, Modern Warfare 3? I think, I think that was the first one to change it to score streaks, right? Yeah, I think so. Anyway. Do not just go with what you see on YouTube. Go with what you like. It's the exact same thing with your classes. Do not just use what you see on YouTube to try to get better in the game. That will just ruin it for you. If you're doing that, you are going to find that you're not going to get those kill streaks. Or if you do, you're not going to do good with them. These Lodestar, VTOL, and Orbital VSAT, that's stuff that I use all the time. This is one of my first main gameplays, getting them. So that's why you see that I'm having, you know, I don't know, 25 killstreak challenges unlocked from them. But you'll see, and gameplay's coming out very soon, I'm getting them a lot. And it's not because I'm just seeing someone on YouTube use it, and then I'm using it. It's simply because of the fact that I'm comfortable with them. And I know I can get that in almost every game. That's... That's a rule of thumb. You put a kill streak on if you know you can get it almost every game. Now I'm not saying put on dogs if you got it once. And you know, you get it game say game one, then game ten, then game twenty, then game thirty. No. No 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 no. That's not gonna help you. You put something on that if you say say you get dogs every tenth game, but you come close to it every game. Don't go to dog. Go to say Lodestar. Because you know you're going to get that every game then. And then, by getting that, you're going to get those extra kills that you would have gotten with dogs. And then you can even keep that on. Because the Lodestar is going to give you some more kills and some more points to get to it. Those points will end up helping you. And they'll, and overall, give you that score streak reward. That's really the key to getting high kill streaks. Don't do anything too low. Like, don't... Unless you're trying to go for, like, a nuclear... Don't put on a UAV, because that's not going to help you. That's just going to take up one of your score streaks. That's that's kind of a waste, doing a UAV. Oh, by the way, just to interrupt myself, really quick thing here. When you are in a VTOL warship, make sure you hit Y on Xbox, or Triangle on PS3. Because when someone throw, shoots a rocket at you, you can actually send out flares that deflect the rocket so that you can stay in the VTOL longer. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. This is just about the end. If you did, make sure to smash that like button below. If you want to stay up to date with any videos that I put up and want to get that delicious chocolatey homemade brownie, make sure to subscribe. My name is Nitro Logic, and I am out. Peace! I yeah, yeah, homie, I'm coming, I'm coming and I'm never gonna give up My mentality is making rappers feel like they can never even live up to logic You bust, I dodge it, think you see me now, nah, you just mirage it I'm gonna, I'm gonna like a semi-automatic That's putting your quip with lyricism to let them have it I blast it, any style that you coming at me with, I master it I sun motherfuckers, then I'm out on you bastards